Okay, now I'm recording on the mic. That that was a little stupid doing the show without it. That, that ain't gonna work. Anyway, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to BWJP Radio. My name is Doug. Good to meet you. Thanks for watching. So anyway, like uh, the other day, I was telling a uh, joke or a story to one of my buddies, one of my buddies, Corey. And he was like, dude, that's artistic. And I said, autistic. And he said, no, I said artistic. I go, oh, okay. Uh, But then I thought about it for a second and he was really right the first time. It was a pretty autistic joke. I was uh, I learned about a, a new porn genre that existed from a friend of mine. Uh, it's called nugget porn. Don't don't look it up. I don't even want to go into detail about what nugget porn is, but it involves the trafficking of poor little chicken McNuggets ripped out of the arms of their family and they make these uh they make these nuggets do uh awful awful things so my recommendation would be just to stay away from nugget porn in general you know what i wanted to talk about today i wanted to talk about woke m&ms have you heard anything about this apparently m&ms has gone woke as it's called as far as uh, making it clear that they're uh, allies to marginalized communities, nothing wrong with a little tiny bit of wokeness. Just a little. Just a little. Woke M&M's. It returned back. Uh, it, it, it sent back results for Woke Eminem the rapper. That was a bad sound. Woke M&M's. Okay. Now, the changes that they made to the M&M's weren't that impressive. Basically, like, okay, M&M's have these commercials for their candies. And they feature uh, animated characters of M&M's. And uh, there's a green lady M&M who always wore sexy boots. Yeah, it was hot. Uh, So one of the changes is that they uh, got rid of the sexy boots and put her in some uh, sneakers. Okay. Okay. Um, Also, one of the other female uh, M&Ms, she wore really high heels, and and then they made the heels shorter. Okay. Okay. And then they made sure to mention that the orange M&M, the anxious orange M&M character, is is trying to become comfortable with his anxiety and accept himself for who he is. That's good. That's good. You should. Anxiety's hard. So, like, that's not that big of a change. M&M's. That's a bad attempt at being woke. And they just put it all together in a little commercial that, you know, talked about oneness and everybody together and diversity or whatever. Um, Kind of weak. Kind of a weak, woke move, M&M's. I don't even think it's uh, that woke. Although I do miss those sexy boots on that fucking hot green M&M, man. Woo, that was hot as fuck. Guys, I'm about to tell you something that you might not know about because I haven't spoken to one person who remembers this. And this isn't one of those Nelson effects. I don't know if you've ever heard of Nelson effects, but it's when people have like uh, false memories of something, like mass false memories of something. Like, a lot of people remember the thing being called the Mandela Effect, but it's not. It's been the Nelson Effect the entire time. So, this is a real Eminem facts here. This is real Eminem facts. Until the year 1995, if you went to a store and bought the regular plain classic bag of Eminems, there was no blue back then, but there were two shades of brown M&Ms. Look it up. There was a light brown M&M and a darker brown M&M. And in 1995, they did away with the light brown M&M 
and stayed with the uh, darker shade of brown M&M. And then they brought in the blue M&M to distract us all from what they just did, which was kill off an entire race of M&Ms, a brown race of M&Ms. So M&Ms, you're not impressing me with your attempts of being woke. M&Ms, and this is right straight out to you, M&Ms, if you want to be woke, bring back Puerto Rican M&M. You know, or Cuban M&M, or Mexican M&M, or uh, Middle Eastern M&M. But the light brown M&M, you bring him back, man. He belongs too. How dare you? You guys how, realize how fucked up that is? And nobody's talking about it. So like, I'm going to try to start a hashtag. Hashtag bring back Puerto Rican M&M. I, I hope I taught you guys something today. I hope you know something now that you didn't before about M&M's. You know, I, I don't want to compare this to, like, you know, the Holocaust or anything. Um, and I won't. But I'm just saying that M&M's had a diversity of M&M's in their collection of colors. And they eliminated an entire brown race of M&M's. Tan brown, light brown. And that's fucked up M&M's. <laughs> Okay, okay.